Hey everyone, welcome to Tips for Supporting Survivors, number 39. This month, it's on having someone. And for the survivor in your life, I suspect you are that someone. What you may not realize is how important you actually are. So I'm here to give you this information. You're important because the abuse occurred in secrecy and silence, was cloaked in shame and was generally done to your survivor alone. So right there is a key message. Because they were alone, they couldn't share. Having you as that someone means that they can. Now the tip for you is to be available when you can so that you can hear what is uppermost in their mind and gently support them in what they are trying to share with you. There is no right way to do any of it, but the point being that you physically being there with a calm and gentle and accepting presence means they are more likely to feel less traumatized and in a dysregulation state. The tip is to actually make sure that the timing works. Sometimes when we see things appear in survivors, we immediately try and manage it. But I just want to give you pause. May not be the perfect time at that time. Let them release, let them vent, and then find a way to be there and continue being that someone. These tips are designed to support you and the survivor in your life. And what we need from you is support in the way of funding. If you are interested in sponsoring us, please go to henningmachineback.org, donate, and choose an amount you would like to donate to us. Thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you next month. Thank you.